Hi, welcome you all on my YouTube channel and pray to Almighty to offer blessings to all of you and fulfill all your wishes. In this video, we are going to discuss about the Sagittarius Ascendant Horoscope for the month of November 2024. During the month of November, there will be very important transit of Sun and Venus and what will be the impact of these transit on different aspect of your life we are going to discuss in complete detail in this particular video so if number 9 is 11 in the first house of your birth chart and along with that LA is also written as you can see here in this particular birth chart then this monthly birth chart analysis report is for you for all other ascendants you can watch my other videos so let's move forward and first discuss about your career during the month of november period from 1st to 8th of november your birth chart will look like this as you can see here during this period rahu which is currently transiting in your fourth house and ketu in the 10th house mercury venus placement is there in the 12th house saturn in its mool trikona sign in the third house and mars in the eighth house in the house of cancer jupiter is placed in the sixth house and sun in the house of prophet that is in the 11th house so let's understand what will be the impact of these planetary position on your career currently venus and mercury is placed in the 12th house due to which there are chances that you may get some sudden opportunities related to abroad there are also chances that your mental stress may increase related to your promotion or related to the fruits of your hard work venus which is the lord of the house of profit that is the 11th house is currently transiting in your 12th house which may create some mental stress related to your promotion in the job there are also chances that if you are doing any sort of business along with your friends then it may create some conflict or misunderstanding with them as well currently sun is transiting in the 11th house in the house of libra which is the debilitated sign of sun and sun is the lord of the ninth house due to which there are chances that your travel may increase in your job if you are into share trading then be a little careful in that otherwise your mental stress may also increase during this period avoid unnecessary lucrative offers otherwise it may create more stress to you during this period mars which is transiting in your eighth house and mars is the lord of the 12th house as well currently transiting in your eighth house due to which you may get some sudden gains related to your family business related to any property related matter if you have been facing some mental stress related to some property then there are chances that the current transit of mars in the eighth house will help you in that will give you some sudden positive result in that on the other hand mars placement in the eighth house may create some mental stress may impact the health in a negative manner which we are going to discuss in our health related section later in our video also the placement of mars in the eighth house is going to aspect your second house which may impact your finances and which we are going to discuss in our finance related section later in this video currently jupiter which is transiting from the sixth house of your birth chart is aspecting your 12th house as well as the second house here due to which it is going to give you some positive impact it is going to give you some positive results related to some competition related to some job there are also chances that people who are doing some import export business may also get some sudden good opportunities some very very good opportunities here on the other hand jupiter placement in the sixth house may increase your load in work which may impact your family life which may also impact your personal life here currently rahu and ketu is placed in the fourth and tenth house here ketu placement in the tenth house may motivate you or may force you to change your job unnecessarily there are also chances that it may create some misunderstanding at your workplace it may create some misunderstanding with your colleagues or with your bosses so be little careful about that and avoid any hasty decision during this particular period on the other hand rahu placement in the fourth house may create some trouble to those native who are doing some business near to their birthplace also rahu placement in the fourth house may give you some sudden opportunities related to foreign land or it may also give you some sudden opportunities away from your birthplace currently saturn which is transiting in your third house which is aspecting your ninth house is going to give you some sudden gains or is 
now going to give you some very very good opportunities saturn is now about to leave the third house that is its mool trikon sign so there are chances that it may give you some sudden opportunities in job or some career which is going to impact in the long run in the coming period so saturn placement or transit in your third house in the mool trikon sign which is aspecting the house of fortune will give you some very good opportunities abroad as well there are chances that you may get some visa related issues resolved during this particular period as well period from 8th to 14th of november your birth chart will look like this as you can see here during this period venus is going to transit in the lagna house that is the ascendant house here venus which is also the lord of the sixth house and the house of prophet will give you some mixed results here whenever the lord of the sixth house or eighth house is transiting in the lagna house it may create some misunderstanding or it may create some confusion in mind related to your career or related to any sort of business venus which is aspecting the seventh house will give you some good opportunities related to your partnership business if you have been facing some partnership related issue during the past few months then it is going to resolve here on the other hand it may give you some misunderstanding or it may give you some upheaval in your mind or some instability in your mind related to your career so be little careful about that because ketu's presence in the 10th house and venus which is also the lord of the 6th house may create some confusion in mind what will be the impact of this on your family life we are going to discuss this in our later section period after 14th of november your birth chart will look like this as you can see here during this period sun is going to transit in the 12th house here sun which is the lord of the house of luck that is the 9th house is going to transit in the 12th house due to which it may create some hindrances related to your luck if you have been facing some challenges related to your career or related to your job then it may also increase here on the other hand if we talk about the positive aspect of this transit of sun in the 12th house then this transit of sun will give you some sudden gains related to foreign issues if you have been facing some challenges related to your visa or if you have been planning to go abroad but due to some issues you were not able to visit that place then the sun transit here in the 12th house will give you positive result here on the other hand people who are living abroad have to be a little careful here there are chances that you may face some legal issues here so be a little careful about that people who are into government job also have to be a little careful here otherwise your mental stress may increase there are chances that you may face some legal implications here what will the impact of this on your family life we are going to discuss this in our later section so that was all about your career during the month of november now let's move forward and discuss about your health during the month of november if we talk about your health then the month of november is not so favorable for your health because currently jupiter is in the 6th house mars is there in the 8th house venus mercury is transiting from your 12th house and after 14th of november sun is also going to transit in the 12th house due to which this is going to make a sort of triangle here this triangle is more complicated for your health avoid eating unnecessary food or avoid eating oily food excessive spicy food you have to avoid during this particular period otherwise there are chances that you may face some stomach related issues this month may also is not so favorable for people who are suffering from depression or insomnia because transit of sun there after 14th of november may create more trouble to such a native so you have to do meditation during this particular period what remedies you have to perform i am going to discuss in the remedy section that will be helpful for you during the month of november currently jupiter is transiting in your 6th house due to which it may create some muscular pain or backbone issues as well so be little careful about that as well keep doing physical exercise that will be more helpful to you so that was all about your health now let's move forward and discuss about your finances during the month of november 
If you talk about your finances, then the month of November will give you some mixed results here because Venus is transiting in the 12th house. Sun after 14th of November is going to transit in the 12th house, which may create more trouble to you related to your financial matters. There are chances that your expenses may increase suddenly specifically period after 14th of november so avoid unnecessary expenses during this particular period also there are chances that your expenses may increase related to your health issues or maybe related to the health issue of some family member so be a little careful about that also period from 22nd to 24th of november may increase your expenses exponentially so be a little careful during this particular period if we talk about the some positive aspect of finances during this month then period from 11 to 13th of november will be a favorable period for your finances there are chances that you may get some sudden gains from somewhere and these financial gains may be in the form of some return which you have invested during the past so that was all about your finances now let's move forward and discuss about your love and romance life during the month of november if we talk about your relationship matter people who are into relationship then period from 1st to 8th of november it's not so favorable for your relationship there are chances that your conflict may increase there are chances that some misunderstanding in your relationship may increase during this particular period specifically period from 21st to 24th of november and also period from 9th to 13th of november these period may create some more trouble in your relationship matter on the other hand if we talk about for those who are single then period from 15th to 17th of november will be a favorable period for your love and romance life there are chances that your chapter of romance life may begin during this particular period so that was all about your romance life now let's move forward and discuss about your family life during the month of november if we talk about your family life then current transit of mars in the eighth house may create some mental issues may create some trouble related to your married life people who are married then the period from 1st to 14th of november is not so favorable for your marital life there are chances that your conflict may increase there are chances that due to over workload or excessive work you won't be able to give time to your married life due to which conflict may increase in your relationship matter otherwise period after 14th of november your conflict may start reducing a bit on the other hand period after 14th of november there are chances that your conflict with your father may increase also there are chances that health related issue may also increase related to your father due to the presence of rahu in the fourth house here there are chances that your conflict with your mother may increase there are chances that issues may increase at your home related to some small small matter as well so be a little careful about that on the other hand period from 1st to 14th of november your conflict with your children may also increase so be a little careful about that as well so that was all about your family life during the month of november now let's move forward and discuss about the most important remedies that will be beneficial for you during the month of november currently jupiter is transiting in the sixth house so you have to donate yellow lentils as well as bananas during thursdays and also you can donate some stationary items to needy persons or needy children during every thursday currently saturn is transiting in the third house which is aspecting your house of fortune due to which you should donate some coins on every saturday also you have to donate mustard oil on every saturday to any needy person you can also donate black lentils on every saturday currently rahu is placed in the fourth house so you have to chant rahu bij mantra daily after sunset 108 times which is om brahm brim brom sarave namaha you have to chant this mantra daily after sunset you have to feed dogs and fishes daily after sunset so that was all about the sagittarius ascendant for the month of november may almighty bless you always and thanks for watching the video